Okay, here we go. A new part of physics. Uh, we're talking about work, power, and simple machines. They are very, very much related to each other, and that's why we clump them into this one unit. But for today, what we're going to focus on is work. Okay, what is work? How do we calculate it? How do we define it? Um, and then eventually, we're going to use work in simple machines, uh, but not quite yet. Okay, so part one work. Okay, so the deal is for work, okay, what is work? All right, well, some of you think, well, okay, doing my homework is work. Well, okay, yes, a standard definition in typical real-world situations, anytime you're actively doing something, usually something you don't want to do, it's called work. What I'm doing right now, teaching, is my work, okay? But in physics, that's not how it goes, okay? There are some things that have to happen in order for you to do work. Let me explain by telling you what is not work. If I were to pick on one of you and I were to say, look, uh, you go over to the wall and push on it. Just push on it, okay? You could just push on it, push on it, push on it, push on it. And I could make you push on that. Well, I probably couldn't make you push on it, but let's say I made you push on that for it, uh, an hour. No, how about two hours? No, how about an entire school day? Okay? You keep pushing on it for an entire school day. And you know what? You're annoyed. You're disgusted with me. And you go home and you go and you whine to your parents and you say, Mr. Webb made me do so much work today. And then your parents call me up and they go, Mr. Webb, why did you make my son do so much work today? Uh, and I said, and I can honestly say, when they ask me why I made you do so much work, I can honestly tell them, I did not make your child do any work today. Why? I mean, when you push on the wall, it feels like you're doing work, right? But here's the thing. In physics, just because you're pushing on something doesn't mean you're doing work, although typically it does. But let me explain, okay? In order for work to be done, there has to be two things happening, okay? This is for the physics definition of work, okay? Two things have to happen. First of all, you must apply a force, which, of course, you were doing with the wall, okay? I understand that. But you must apply a force first of all. Okay? So the force must be applied. Okay? And also, the object must move a distance. If the object doesn't move, there's no work being done. Okay? I can push on that wall and push on that wall and push on that wall, but as long as that wall doesn't move, I haven't done any work. However, if I move my pen from here to here, I apply a force to it, I did work. A lot more work than I did pushing on that wall. I know it doesn't make sense uh, in some ways, but just stay with me here because this is what's going to make the difference when we start talking about um, a lot of other things, especially with simple machines. Okay? So the physics definition of work is force times distance. That's why I uppercase these. We have a force and a distance being moved. That's how it works. So we've got work equals force times distance. If we abbreviate it, we use W equals FD. Note, that's a capital W. Can't use a lowercase. That's for something else. And just a little thing. If we work twice as hard, we do twice as much work. Also, if we push twice as far, we do twice as much work. So if I'm pushing with twice as much force, I'm going to do twice as much work. Like let's say if something's heavier and I have to push it harder. Or if instead of pushing it one meter, I push it two meters, then I will also wind up doing more work. Okay. Uh, so that's really what work is. The last thing I wanted to talk about is that there are two kinds of work. Typically, they typically divide up into two. One is work done against gravity because let's say I lift this pen, I have to exert a force up probably equal a little bit more than the uh, force of its weight. So I got to exert a force up to make it move a distance, okay? So you could think of that as, let's see, there's a force of gravity going down, okay? And I'm pushing up with a little bit bigger eventually, but uh, force applied, okay? So that force makes this object move up a certain distance. So you could say that my work equals the force applied times the distance it moved. Actually, pretty simple. Okay. 
The other kind is work done to change the motion or energy of an object. That's normally horizontal type stuff. And so if you wind up, let's say um, you have a safe or something, okay? There's the floor, okay? There's a safe. All right, um, what you can wind up doing is if you push, you apply a force, okay? And you move at a certain distance. Let's say from here to here, there's a distance. Whatever force you applied times the distance that you applied that force is the work that you did, okay? Not too bad, that's not a bad drawing, okay? All right, now, the big question is then, how is it measured? Because we need to talk about units, we need to talk about calculations, so how is it measured? Well, let's take a look at W equals FT. Work is force times distance. Sorry, force is measured in newtons. Distance is measured in meters. My apologies. And basically, so you get the n units are newton meters. Guess what? Newton meters, that's kind of a lot. In fact, here's the thing. Work is actually a form of energy. That's something you want to write down. Okay? Work is a form of energy. And because it's a form of energy, really, we can abbreviate it as joules, okay? It could be Newton meters, or it could simply be joules, which we abbreviate as J, okay? So those are units for work, so let's say I do, I don't know, let's say I exert a force of 40 Newtons, okay? And I'm pushing something a distance of, I don't know, let's say five meters, okay? How much work did I do? Well, my work equals, let's see, 40 newtons times the 5 meters. Okay. So it winds up being 200 newton meters, or 200 joules, because work is a form of energy and energy is measured in joules this will come in very very handy in the next unit when we talk about energy but that's the deal uh, with work just to remind you this equation put in your essential equation sheet do it now all right have a good day